Okay, I just wanted to show off these two. They've been here for a while, but I've just never posted a video on them. Uh, what they are is a pair of 2010 Jungles Possible Het VPIT Positive. So I ended up getting these from a buddy of mine. It's kind of a long-term breeding loan. Uh, he ended up having a bunch of jungle 66% het T paws babies in with some T paws jungle that were in the litter. But uh, ended up with a bunch of possible hats rather than him have to raise them all up and either prove them out or disprove them. He ended up sending them over my way. So I'm going to try to find out if I can prove or disprove them so yeah like I said they're jungle for sure which is why this one has the funky pattern and also possible head tea paws so my plan is to pick up a nice male for these guys this year these are some big females they're actually 2010s but you can see they got quite a bit of size to them and do not want to go back in their home so yeah, I don't really need a male. Uh, there's no point getting a male too soon. Uh, one thing is it could outgrow it also. Uh, you pay a lot more when you come in on a ground level of a certain morph. So I'd rather try to get uh, head T paws a little later in the game when they're not as rare. So that's the one. Oh, almost had some spillage there. So we're calling that Mary Jane, and this is her sister from, oh, not that one, her sister from the same litter, not as aberrant. This one though has some neat highlights to it, almost makes me think this one would be the one that's going to end up proving out. Two seconds. I think she thought I was a meal for a second there. Just hard to do with this camera at the same time. Just give me two seconds. Okay, so this is her sister. From the exact same litter, not quite as embarrassed, still jungle nonetheless, also 66% possible head T paws. Uh, the reason I think this one might end up proving out is it just has some weird f highlights and flashes of color in there, uh, almost like white patches that the other one doesn't quite have. Uh, I've never seen a pure head T paws, so. It's hard to say if there really is a marker or indication, but I'm hoping between the two of them, one of these proves out. If not, like I said, I'm going to get something t paws male this year anyway, so we can see uh, either I'll get some pure t paws jungles, if not, then at least I get jungle 100% head t paws. So this one I'm calling Mary Jane number two. Uh, like I said, they're on a long-term breeding loan. These are 2010s, but you can see they already have quite a bit of size on them compared to my 2010s. Uh, they're just fed really well, I guess. Uh, I ended up getting them here maybe five or six months ago, shortly after the Red Deer Expo. I got them mailed to me, put them in quarantine for a while, and now they're in the snake room. So I just wanted to show you guys those two. I know I haven't done a video on them yet, so there you go. Uh, if you guys have any requests, let me know. See what we can do for you.